So here we are with the Triffid plant. This is the giant hogweed, Heracleum mantigazianum, in the same genus as the delectable tasting common hogweed, but this one is to be avoided. I hardly lay a finger on this plant whatsoever. Now if you were to get the sap from this plant on your skin, under sunlight, the phototoxic effects of the molecules called furanucumarins would lead to third degree burns, quite nasty blisters and pigmentation change on the skin. So this one is possibly the largest herbaceous plant in Western Europe. It will grow up to five meters high. You can see here the size of these leaf stalks getting up about 60-70 centimeters or more high on the leaf stalk and the leaves themselves on the bigger plants can be about the same long. It has a similar shape leaf to hogweed but they're always far more pointy and serrated at the edges. The individual lobes quite sharp pointed whereas the common hogweed although a variable species will often have rounded lobes nowhere near as, as deeply divided as the uh, lobes on these leaflets. Almost a white, I wouldn't say thorn, but, and they're not sharp, but definitely pointed serrations on the leaves here. So like I say, avoid playing with this plant. Do not make pea shooters from this plant. Just don't touch it. This is quite an extraordinary pack to it in the Char Valley in Dorset. It's worth having a good close up on those leaf stalks and although the common hogweed you will see some purple stems they're not as often as splotchy as as these stems so covered in these white bristles purple splotches and there's nowhere near as much of a, a groove or gutter running down the, the central stem. What there is is only a couple of millimetre wide whereas the, the leaf stems on hogweed you, you could consider them to look a bit like celery with quite a large central groove or gutter running down all the way down the, the leaf stalk. So giant hogweed, avoid. <laughs>